Our television game for round four of the WNBL was at Sydney Uni Sports and Aquatic Centre where the Flames were taking on Adelaide Lightning. It was Karen Dalton's 300th game as coach and she was hoping to be able to celebrate. Narelle Fletcher didn't turn out quite as she hoped. It didn't, Stephanie. It was a very important game for both the Sydney Flames and for the Adelaide Lightning. Adelaide Lightning, of course, coming off a loss on the first leg of their road trip in Canberra. And they will have wanted to have toned for that straight away. They lost Jenny Screen in that match as well to an ankle injury. So it's always going to be a tough road for them. Fatigue, numbers down on personnel and, of course, the milestones for the Sydney Flames. However, for the Adelaide Lightning, they turned up to play. They sure did, but I've got to say in the first few minutes, oh. gee, it looked like a bit of a grind and then it completely turned around. The percentages turned around, the individual performances came out of nowhere. It was a battle for which team could post more fouls in those first <laughs> three minutes of the game and the scoreboard just wasn't ticking over for anybody. Halfway through that first quarter, as you said, the game totally changed context and then the scores started piling on. Both teams shooting the ball exceptionally well and at halftime both above 50%. Three-point line, both teams above 80 90%. So it was just phenomenal shooting. The physicality stayed in the match and it got tight. Yes, it certainly did and what a wonderful way to finish. Uh, Alicia Poto sinking a wonderful one outside the D to keep it oh so close. <laughs> Look, it was oh so close, wasn't it? And it, you know, that three still gave the Sydney Flames a little bit of a chance but Adelaide Lightning just able to hold on. Yeah, they sure did. It ended up with the Adelaide Lightning managing to take that one out and it wasn't to be a fairy tale ending for Karen Dalton of the Sydney Flames. But it was a wonderful match, finishing three points in the favour of the Lightning and setting up a wonderful season ahead.